The Boston Celtics have just made a trade a day before the trade deadline, acquiring former Grizzlies center Xavier Tillman. Now, this might not be the match made in heaven. This might not be the perfect fit here in Boston, but I do love it, and I'm going to show you why. Xavier Tillman is a hustler. He's a rebounder. He's a go-getter, and he wants to win every single possession as a big man and this is something we need you know when we talk about the biggest need for the celtics it's a backup big right it's getting someone behind you know al horford someone behind Kristaps porzingis just in case there's an injury and we already know that porzingis and al they don't play back to backs so now Tillman is here, he's going to give guys more opportunity to rest, but he's also a guy that can play. He's a guy that doesn't want the ball too much, right? He doesn't, he's not a ball handler, he's not someone that needs the ball to make big plays. He's someone that will give you 18 to 20 minutes a night, give you some big time rebounds, you know, play good inside the paint, but also can stretch the floor slightly. He's not someone defenses will really prioritize from the three point line, but he's an unselfish passer. Think about a guy like Draymond Green. But, you know, a little bit more crafty, especially around the basket in terms of finishing. This is what we're getting. And in this video, I want to break down some film and show you guys what we're getting in Xavier Tillman. Before we go ahead and, you know, break down the entirety of this film, do me a quick favor, guys. Hit that like button just so we can help get this video out to more Celtics fans around the world. But also, subscribe to the channel if you're new so you're notified every time we post a Celtics game for the rest of the season. And we also live stream every Celtics game. If you guys want to watch some of these Celtics games with me live, make sure you guys join the family as Xavier Tillman gets a nice and one at the basket. Now, let's break down some film. On this play, another thing Xavier Tillman does, I haven't even brought this fact up, but he is such a tenacious defender. You think about a guy like Marcus Smart, well, think of Marcus Smart in a 6'8 body, right? Or 6'7, I believe he might be 6'7, 6'8. Undersized you know, center, but someone who can really play good defense, right? He gets beat there by James Harden, then um, Zubak drives in, gets blocked by Xavier Tillman. He's someone that will block shots. Not only will he block shots, he'll get big time steals as well. And I think when we talk about the biggest problem for the Celtics, we talk about the rebounding, right? We talk about how many offensive rebounds we give up per game. Like we're one of, we're one of the worst. The Grizzlies, for example, had like 12 offensive rebounds in one quarter and they had 13 guys out. Here we go. Xavier Tillman driving into the paint. You're going to fake off that handoff or fake the handoff and drive in for a wide open dunk. This is what you you love to see out of a big man someone who can be versatile uh, or versatile enough to put the ball on the floor but can also look at this ready leaps from behind gets a steal guys in this game i believe he had six steals the man can do it all defensively offensively whatever you want him to do he can do it now like i said if i want to look at his stats he's not the best three-point shooter in the world right he's shooting you know roughly 26 percent from the three-point line in his career not good not good right that's not something we want to see out of a Celtic big man because, you know, you have Al, you have Porzingis that can shoot threes. But when you talk about a guy who's 6'7", he can, you know, guard the perimeter, he can guard the paint, he can do everything defensively. That's what we're looking for in a big man, right? You, you talk about a guy like Rob Williams who, you know, this is very similar. Rob Williams and Xavier Tillman are very similar type of players, right? Because Xavier Tillman gets, gives you the versatility where, listen, if you get switched onto a, a point guard, if you have Xavier Tillman versus a guy like let's just say Tyrese Maxey yeah he's probably not going to do amazing but he's going to do better than a guy like Luke Cornett he's going to do better than a guy like Namias right that's what he brings to the table but that's not it let's break down a whole nother game Okay, now this footage I want to show you is from the playoffs, okay? 2023 playoff run. I believe this was the first round. Xavier Tillman showed out this game. I just want to show you this because I want to prove to you guys that yes, Xavier Tillman is not the perfect player, but even in the playoffs, he knows how to win games. He knows how to, you know, give that spark, give that energy that the Celtics need. We talk about a guy like Marcus Morris, a guy like Marcus Smart, one of those dogs, right? You need one of those energy guys. Xavier Tillman is that, right? He is that in a center. He passes the ball well. He can rebound the ball well. He can score inside the paint. He can catch lobs. He is an energy guy, and this is what I've been looking for in a Celtic. I will be covering this more on my podcast as well, but here we go. Xavier Tillman versus Jared Vanderbilt. He's going to post up on him. Ver Vanderbilt is a very good defender, by the way. Stops, puts up a left-handed floater, and gets it to go right? Here we go. On this play, we're going to get Dylan Brooks top of the key, isolating against D'Angelo Russell. We're going to see Xavier Tillman come up to the top, set a fake screen. Now, Dylan Brooks is going to draw 
in Anthony Davis with him. Tillman jabs, drives in. He's going to post up on Anthony Davis. And again, left-handed floater off the glass gets it to go. Guys, you talk about two post players, one in Porzingis. Xavier Tillman is very similar, right? You can score inside the inside the paint. This is this is something we really need to uh, you know improve on as well. You look at what we do this year so far, it's a lot of shooting threes. I think Xavier Tillman will give us some versatility in terms of being able to score in the paint. And I think that really makes us a little bit more versatile as well. So there's a lot of things I love about Xavier Tillman's game. You know, one being his defense, the, the, the fact that he can switch and, uh, you know, play, defend multiple positions, but also offensively, the, what he brings us in the paint, and I, I think could be very vital, especially in the playoffs, right? When you go against a team like, you know, for example, the 76ers, when Embiid is off the floor, we got to take advantage of that, right? When we play these teams who don't have a backup big man that can defend the rim, we need to take advantage of that. I think Xavier Tillman not only brings us the energy that we need offensively, but also can bring us the scoring inside the paint as well. Now watch this play. Comes in, the tenaciousness to drive in, get the rebound, and put it back in for a bucket. I mean, I'm telling you, guys, if you don't like Xavier Tillman's game, you don't like basketball. Because, yeah, he doesn't put up 30 points a night. He doesn't put up uh, 20 rebounds. He doesn't put up 10 assists. But he will give you a 10, 6, and 6 type of game with also 3 blocks and 2 steals. That's what he'll do right we're not asking him to come in here and be a full-time starter we're not asking him to come in here and be you know selfish and be a ball hog no he doesn't need to do that at all and also right dylan brooks drives in draws two defenders tillman he has the confidence that he will take the shot but also at the same time he knows when it's a good shot or it's a bad shot now what i mean by that specifically is you know if, if we're down by three uh with a minute left to go he won't force a three if he's open maybe he takes it but i think at the end of the day he looks for the open shot and I think that is what you love to see. I mean, look at this motion here. You got a screen here by Bain. You got a, you know, a handoff here with a screen for Tillman and sets an open three over here for David Roddy. Guys, imagine this play with Derek White. Imagine that play with the guy like Jalen or Jason. I mean, this could really work out a very good passer, a very willing passer. And I think he is only going to help us get better. Again, if I had to compare him to someone, I would say a little bit more crafty, um, Draymond Green. He passes well, he can score at the basket, you know, decently well, he can defend at a high level, and he's tenacious, he's a hustler, and he's that, that, that enforcer that the Celtics have been missing since they traded away Mark Smart, that enforcer that they've been missing as a big since they got rid of, you know, Marcus Morris and KG, like, I'm not comparing him to those players, but the energy that he brings will be you know, up there at that echelon. Tillman, floater game, up over Ant Davis, gets it to go. Guys, let me know in the comments, how do you feel about this trade? Two second round picks for Xavier Tillman is insane. Now you have Porzingis, you have Al Horford, and now you have some more depth with Xavier Tillman. Comment down below what you think, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.